Hi, this is Katie Susan. Welcome to our brand new teaching, Victory in Trials. I've been working on this revelation for years, but I finally got a massive key that tied it all together just in the last year or so. So I believe that this teaching has taken on a whole new realm of power. I know it has for me. My life has been completely changed. My level of authority has gigantically leaped up, and I've seen major miracles, financial, physical, and miracles of all kind, take place in my life through this revelation. I believe you're going to get massive breakthrough in your life, too, from this teaching. So let's go to the conference now. Okay, so look, we're going to start with some miracle footage because I just want to show you what you should be expecting in your life, okay? Because God is the God of the impossible and he does amazing things. So we're going to do the metal video first. Okay, so let's take a look at that right now. Tell us your name, Sugar. Hi, my name is Terry. Terry, what happened? I had to have surgery on August 3rd and um, two big screws were put into the greater trochanter, which is the ball of the head, and then two screws put into the rotator cuff. I've not been able to do my hair. Um, because the screws of uh, the metal prevents you from having movement? Right, right. And I couldn't, I, could, I didn't have full movement, range of motion when I got here yesterday. I could barely walk, and I can only do things with my right hand. Okay, and how are you feeling now? So, <laughs> so... Wow! Holy cow, Batman! <laughs> Woo! Woo! You had an injury to your spine, correct? Or in your neck? Yes. I first had a car accident where a deer tried to come through my windshield and messed up two vertebrae in my neck. And then about three years later, I fell off a porch about six feet up in the air straight onto my head. Messed up number three and four vertebrae in my neck, split them clear in two, and that's basically it. Now, you have metal in your neck, is that right? Yeah. Or you had metal in your neck? Okay. Well, what did they do? Did they subs like, like try to foundation the, the spine with the metal? What is it? Well, it was welded. I have a cadaver part in there, and screws and bolts and all kinds of stuff, and I've just had constant tightness in my neck and shoulders ever since until last night. 21 years ago, you had a severe accident. Tell us what happened. Well, I was working in the oil field uh, offshore in New Orleans in the Gulf of Mexico and on a drilling rig. And when you pick up drill pipe to make a connection, you pick it up with a chain to bring it into the mouse hole. And the chain broke and it fell on me and broke my neck and broke my back. How big is that pipe? It's about 32 feet long and weighs probably two, 3,000 pounds. I've had three major back surgeries since then. They had to take a bone out of my hip, go through the front of my neck, and fuse C4, 5, 6, and 7. And then my low back, I have a 15-inch scar where they did a laminectomy and put in three 10-inch rods, two plates, and several screws that tighten the plates. I asked you last night, Larry, if you had ever been able to actually touch and feel the plates and the rods with your hand, and you said no. No. So I, we couldn't actually check to see if they were gone like we did with the other Larry. You know, he could feel them and then he didn't. They were gone. The nurse could give me a quick x-ray. We were hoping one of the, the police could bring down one of the metal things. Can we do it? Can we do it? Oh, where are you? Where are you, Larry? Okay. Uh, I think it's right here, isn't it? Okay. Explain what one of these is. It detects metal, uh, and it'll go through the skin also, so it was legit. Now, I saw you. You actually went and got that. We're so grateful. Aren't we so grateful? Can we give Sergeant a hand? Aren't we so grateful? Okay. What would that mean to you, that, that you weren't detecting any metal on men that once had metal in their bodies? It's a miracle. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir. What's your name? Granger. Where's your metal? I got a bullet in my hand right here. A bullet right there? Can you feel it? Yes, you can too. You can feel it? Okay. I can. I can. Okay. How'd you get a bullet and you shot yourself in the hand? No, no, I didn't shoot myself, man. I was blocking a gun and it was getting shot at. Ah, okay. And it stayed in there. 
Must have been a twenty-five then. It was a small, a small, yeah. Yeah, see, I know my weapons. So watch out for me. No I'm kidding. Okay, so you got that. All right, all right. Does it hurt? Uh, every now and then, when it gets cold, in my hand. So it only hurts when it gets cold. Yes, ma'am. Okay. All right. Now we're running out of time, so I'm gonna ask the angels right now. Everybody, start praying in the spirit right now. Pray. We gotta hurry. Right now, angels, I, I call you forth right now. Angels are doing their work right now. We thank you, God. There will be no pain and no metal in Jesus' name right now. I'm out of time. Okay, look. Anybody have any improvement? If, look at me. Look at me. Oh, did you, anybody have any slight improvement? Any kind of improvement at all? Yes? Yes? <laughs> what? Look. Oh, wow. You can feel a wound, <laughs> but the... The bullet's gone. I don't feel the... Oh, wait, wait a minute. Are you sure now? I want to make sure. I can still see... I can, I can see feel, the feel. lump from the wound. Okay. But... but <laughs> man, there was two lumps before. It was, yeah, it was... It was a lot bigger than that, man. I am not, I am not even kidding. Okay, I believe you because I felt it. Look, I'm not making this up. Okay, that is way... Whoa, it's getting smaller even while we... Okay, yeah, it is way smaller. Okay, look at it again. It looks even smaller than it did when I first saw you. Is it smaller for you? Smaller. It is smaller. Like how much? Like a lot. Like a lot. I've had it in there for a long time, guys. I think, where's the metal detector? Okay, ready? <laughs> Just saying. Where's, where's officer? Where's officer? <laughs> Sir, what would that mean to you? Different. Do you think that there, so obviously this goes through skin, right? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am, it does. So there's obviously no metal in his hand? No. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Can we give him a big hand? What's your name? Corey Harry. Where's the metal? In my knee. How much pain did you have? Five. Where'd you get the metal from? From racing. From racing. You're my kind of guy there, isn't it? Racing, yes. Okay, I'm in there with you. Now, you had a five pain. What did you have? What do you have now? None. Zero pain. Yes. Now, could you move the knee? No. You couldn't move it? You mean you couldn't bend it? No. Because of the metal? Yes. Let's see you bend it now. Oh. So you're saying you couldn't do that before? No. At all? So did you walk around stiff-legged? Yes. Anybody know this guy? Did he walk around stiff-legged? He did? Because of the metal? Run up here quick. Hurry, hurry, hurry. You, testify. Quick, quick, quick. Can you feel the metal? No. Did you used to be able to feel it? Yes. Reach down and touch it now. Is it there? No. Can we have the metal detector, please? Sir, can you testify? You know this man. Yes, ma'am. Did he walk around stiff-legged? All the time. Never could bend his knee? I don't know about that, but I know he walked around stiff-legged all the okay, time. Okay, so you would see him walk like this? Is that correct? Okay, now watch him bend his knee. Have you ever seen him do that before? No. Can we give God a big praise? Quickly, quickly, we're running out of time. Yeah, I don't even know how to run it. I'm not sure how to run it. Do you know how to run it? Just push the button. Go ahead. Okay, now, listen. We're going to check his knee. It either changed shape or the, or the metal has disappeared. It either changed his shape and it's still there or it's disappeared. Go. Y'all saw that, right? You all think I'm pulling... Where's the... Officer, can you please do this quickly so nobody thinks I'm pulling the wool over their eyes? Please, come back. Can you please run this metal detector over this man's leg so that everybody knows that we're not making this up? We're bringing an officer in now. How long was that there? A long time. A long time. Many, many, many years? Yes, ma'am. How does it feel? Better. I bet it does. Okay, sir, it's that knee. We just want to confirm there's no metal in that knee anymore. <laughs> What's your name, officer? Officer Gilbert. If you ran that over him, would it, and he had metal in his knee, would it? 
Yes, it's sound off. So it would it would indicate. Yes, ma'am. So if you're seeing that there's no uh, indication from that, would you say there was no metal left in his knee? I wouldn't detect any metal, no, ma'am. Let's give God a big praise tonight.